Do you know the different endings of the game Tactics Ogre, Let Us Cling Together, and its implications for the main story? In this video, I'll show you how to get to each ending and how the story unfolds in each one. In this game, you can get any one of the three different endings through three different paths. The lawful, neutral, or chaotic path can lead to the death, lord, or princess ending. What will decide which ending will be reached are certain decisions in the story, the characters that are alive at the end of the game, and sometimes your chaos frame. The Chaos Frame represents Danum's acceptance within the diverse clans of the Isle of Valyria and is affected by events in the story and battles, like when a unit is incapacitated. When a unit is recruited and when a unit attacks another unit of the same clan, including allies. What sets the route you will be playing is two important decisions made during the entire game. At the end of Chapter 1, if you agree with the Balbamusa Massacre, you will be on the Lawful Path. If you refuse the Massacre, you will be on the Chaotic Path. At the end of Chapter 2, if you accept Leonar's request to return to the Resistance, you will be on the Neutral Path. If you refuse, you will continue on the Chaotic Path. What changes mainly in the three possible routes is the order of events and especially the characters you can recruit. In any path, you will be able to recruit Dana Morn, Kashua Pavel, Lancelot Hamilton, Warren Omen, Canopus Wolf, Merton Walhorn, Iuria Wolf, Deneb Rove, Donalto Presence or Felicia Malkshin. Voltaire Montrose, Sarah Ostval, Olivia Farina, Sherry Farina, Gant Vokstein, Berta, Abda, Aracel Dania, Diego Gayla de Zelston, Jonathan Torjos Lindell, Hobiram V. Roms, and Robert Rudlam. In the Lawful Path, you will be able to recruit Vice Bozek, Gildas W. Burn, Juna Navertif, Osma Moglacius, Zapan Eludas, Ravnus Loxarian, Ocean Rabin. In the neutral path, you will be able to recruit Merrick Elrig, Tamus Fedorenko, Falkert Rita Lind, Festa Morandi. Devold Abdelord, Elias Abdelord, Ben Rosen Orn, Seria Farina, Sistina Farina, Shamos Zalman. In the Chaotic Path, you will be able to recruit Gildas W. Byrne, Falkert Rita Lind, Cressida Abdelord, Ben Rosen Orn, Seria Farina, Sistina Farina. Now speaking of endings, let's start with the death ending. Requirements. Cashua be dead. Chaos frame with Wallister, Galgastani, or Bakram below 30. Epilogue With the death of the rightful heir to the Valyrian throne, Danum is crowned king instead. Without the legitimate acceptance of this post by the three largest clans of the islands, on the day of the coronation Danum is attacked by rebels and killed. Wallister, Galgastani, and Bakram fight for control of the island again. Now with the Lord ending. Requirements. Cashua be dead. Chaos frame with Wallister, Galgastani, and Bakram above 30. 
Epilogue With the death of the rightful heir to the Valyrian throne, Danum is crowned king instead. With the legitimate acceptance of this post by the three major clans of the islands, Danum is crowned and reigns over the Wallister, Galbistani, and Bakram on the island. In Zenobia, King Tristan is informed that Lodis has sent troops to invade Valyria for not accepting Danum as the island's rightful ruler. Now, with the story's canonical end, the princess ending. Requirements Cashua be alive. Epilogue Cashua, as the rightful heir to the Valyrian throne, is crowned ruler. Now Queen Vesalia Abareth, she rules over Wallister, Galvestani, and Bakram, beginning a period of peace and rebuilding from all the damage caused by the war. Danum goes to Zenobia to not harm Cashua's government as there were many people displeased with him. There are also ending scenes for some characters if they were recruited into your party and stayed alive until the end. Presence returns to Almorica to care for the war orphans in the hope that someday the hatred between the people on the island will end. Folkert, Bayan, and Aracel return together to their homelands. Falkert and Bayan plan to set up an academy and teach it. Cressida Abdelord says goodbye and seeks to seal necromancy forever. Hobirim decides to return to Lodis with Ozma to seek revenge on Balsafon and Tartarus and lead Lodis to the right path. Diego Gaelid as Elston dies in his bed of an unknown illness, asking to be buried in the sea. Ruva dismisses his daughter Olivia from work in the Order, and she leaves along with Danum to Zenobia. Junin and Ocean return to Coritania to stop rebels from rising and causing more war in the region. Zapan leaves, looking for another mercenary job that will make him money. Elias returns to his hometown to take care of his brother Devold and live in peace. Ravnus goes to Coritania to lessen conflicts in the region, showing through his half Wallister and half Galgustani blood that it is possible for both to live in peace. It is assumed that the rest of the characters are now part of the army of the new ruler of Valyria. The Zenobians Lancelot Hamilton, Canopus, Warren, Gildas, Murden, Iuria, and Deneb return to Zenobia. Meanwhile, the Laslorians Lancelot Tartarus, Balsafon, and Volok return to Lodis. These were the tactics, Ogre. Let us cling together. Endings. Did you already know them all? If you want to know the whole story of the game in detail, I'll leave the video here on the card for you. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content from the Ogre Battle Saga. Thank you and see you next time.